The Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell is largely an opinion talk show. All opinions, comments, or statements of fact expressed by Rob McConnell's guests are strictly their own and are not to be construed as those of the Exxon Radio Show or endorsed in any manner by Rob McConnell, Relmar McConnell Media Company, the Exxon Broadcast Network, its affiliated networks, stations, employees, or advertisers. All Hit Radio. Welcome to the X Zone, a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. Welcome back to the Exxon, everyone. one 877 is toll-free throughout the U.S., Canada, Alaska, and Hawaii. And uh, you're listening to the Exxon Radio Show on the Talkstar Radio Network and our fine family of broadcast affiliates, radio TV stations across Canada, the United States, Central America, the Caribbean, South America, the Pacific Rim, 20 Asian countries, and now across Europe. My guest this hour is Anna Robles. Uh, she is a psychic teacher, medium, spiritual healer, and life coach. Anna is a psychic teacher and founder of ManifestingTruth.com. Her gifts include mentoring, mediumship, spiritual intuitive, psychic readings, and holistic healing. She was born with the gift of sight. Anna also possesses the psychic ability to connect to the other side as a medium. And Anna, welcome to the X-Zone. Welcome. It's an honor to be on your show tonight. Um, please forgive me. We're under very severe thunderstorms in Dallas. Oh, my I'm very goodness. dedicated to my work, so if you hear some noise, um, listeners, you're listening to a big thunderstorm. My gosh, and I thought it was fanfare. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I'm dedicated to my work. I'm here to help humanity. And so here I am. I just yeah. finished my radio show, yeah. and it was an honor to be on your radio show, and I'm just glad to be here. Well, we're glad you're with us. Now, tell us... Uh, why did you decide to dedicate your life to helping people? What was the motivation? Oh, that's interesting. That's actually why I'm filming my life story. I was, we speak, I have a documentary that I'm filming, filming mm-hmm. right now. Um, my son, my son. I got four children, <laughs> but my um, third child, uh, my first marriage, when my son was a month old, my first husband shook him when he was a month old and left him for dead oh. in a coma. And I was a, a regular mom working outside of the house. Mm-hmm. And he, when he, that happened to him, I asked God, you know, to bring me uh, where I could work out of my home office, help many people, and bring awareness, and for this could never happen again. Mm-hmm. And, yes, I didn't stay with him, okay? I put him in prison. Good for And you. I divorced him. Good. I got my kids back because the law in California, I'm from California. I'm now in Dallas, but I'm an L.A. girl. Got my kids back. This is part of my book and my my film that they're filming now. And triumphed on and made my life mission to teach others that this if this poor um, East LA girl could come from down under, from poverty to be successful twelve years later, then they could do it themselves. So I took not my weakness and made it my strength and fought and and, and did what I needed to do. And over the years, I did my own clientele. I just triumphed on. And it was just my intuition. As I call the angels, because I've been seeing angels since I was remembering, maybe four years ago, that's the first I could remember. And they always told me what I was going to do at my 30s, which I'm doing now, which is amazing, which I'm just grateful. But I'm here to not only be a psychic medium. I'm also a lecturer, and I teach other people how to become successful, how to be happy in their spirituality and their triumph in, in their energy field. But so, I did that over the years. I've done a lot of readings. Mm-hmm. I've done a lot of things. But my son has, he's now permanently in a wheelchair for life, which I accept. He's a happy kid. He's 12 years old, but mentally six. Mm-hmm. But for his sacrifice, and that's part of my upcoming book, Sacrificial Soul, that we're finishing up. For his sacrifice, which I don't call it a sacrifice, but that's just what the Spirit told me to call it, is his time has awakened me to help humanity. All right, Anna, stand by. You and I have to take a commercial break. We'll be back in two minutes. 
My name's Rob McConnell. Anna Rumbles is our special guest. She's a psychic teacher, medium, spiritual healer, and life coach. Her website is manifestingtruth.com. We'll be back on the other side of this break as the Exxon continues right here on the Talkstar Radio Network from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the X-Zone radio show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the X-Zone broadcast network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere, 24-7-365. Hi everyone, Rob McConnell here, and I wanted to spend a moment on internet streaming. Everybody has heard about internet streaming, but not many know much about it. Did you know the internet streams just about everything? Movies. From new releases to old classics. TV shows. Almost every show, every episode, and much more. But the question has always been, how do you do it? Well now, thanks to the folks at 123 Ready TV, I have the answer for you. They have developed a simple program app, 123 Ready TV, that you install on your Windows PC, Android smartphone, or Android tablet that can have you streaming like a pro in less than five minutes. You truly won't believe how much is available or how easy it is to do until you try. And for a one-time cost of only $19.99, this product is a real winner. To learn more about 123 Ready TV, visit our website at www.x. ZBN.net. And welcome to the Exxon, everyone. My name is Rob McConnell. We're coming to you live and around the world on the Talk Star Radio Network, Exxon TV, and on shortwave. If you'd like to give us a call, our toll free number is 1 877 528 8255. That is toll free throughout the U.S., Canada, Alaska, and Hawaii at 1 877 528 8255. Anna, um, at, at what age did you realize that you had this special gift and that you had the gift of sight? I actually realized when I was about five years old, when um, I was awakened between midnight and 1 a.m., and a light used to come from the corner of our house. Our house was very tiny, so we used to me and my brother, there's only two of us, we shared a bunk bed. So I was on the top and so in the corner, I was visualizing this for your listeners, a light used to come in and then this beautiful angel would come in and start talking to me and I'm a child thinking, okay, this is a regular human being, you know, I don't know better. Raised Catholic, I knew about angels. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. And at four, that's when I began seeing the visions, as they call it. My parents were really Catholic, so they kind of sent it down and said, you're not seeing anything. That's your imaginary friends. Um, and so I kind of shut down for several years until 11 years old when it, my gift was heightened again with an awakening experience that I can never forget. What was that? That, for your listeners, I know they're open. So um, actually, I was going through some turbulence because I was a loner child. I always kept to myself as a, as a child of, of a gifted. And so I've always seen things. So one day, at again, at 12 to 1 o'clock, I don't know the exact time, they came in. And <laughs> this is a, a very unique experience, forgive me for saying this. Um, the floating head of Christ came to me and said, be good to not talk back to my mother, because I was 11, I was rebellious, and it turned into the worst thing you could imagine when I said, I don't believe you're not the real thing, blah, 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 I cursed it out, basically, at that age, and so it turned into something that not even producers could, you know, movie theaters could make, and what so happened? I stood there, frozen, running to my parents' room, which took a foot to get in, because it was a tiny house. It took me 30 minutes, and my mom saw it. We prayed, and it went away. And from that day forth, 
I was never a bad kid ever again. <laughs> and so I seen a lot of things of supernatural but, experiences. But wait a sec, hold on here, hold on here, hold on here. You're you're slow down, calm down. You're really talking fast. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Slow down, sweetheart. When okay, so what happened uh, when you cursed the floating head of Christ? Uh, you kind of skipped the details. When I cursed it, it became um, a demon floating head. I know it sounds out of the ordinary, but something that I cannot explain or describe, not even horror films could Is describe. it possible that it was a demon masking itself or portraying itself as Christ? Yes, very possible. You got a point there. Because I, I really don't think that that from what I've heard of people who have uh, had encounters of a very religious sort, that it would be a an encounter that would in any way jeopardize you, and oh, certainly correct. would not turn into a demon. Correct, because the Christ light doesn't do that. It doesn't right, scare yeah. a child, and it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Nothing out of love can do that. So it was a trickster, as we call it. And, but it made its point, and it did change me from being rebellious little girl <laughs> mm-hmm. to a balanced, obeying girl the next day. Um, I don't validate the negative side of it, but it did scare me. <laughs> I guess so. I guess very so. much so. And it's, my mom saw it, which is very odd, which she prayed for 40 minutes with me, and it went away because I ran to their bed. Uh-huh. And so my dad didn't believe in it because he says we were both nuts seeing things. He fell asleep, and I went in bed with them and prayed, and that led me on the paranormal path, as we say. Wait, was that the last time you had an encounter with a negative entity? Yes. Wow. Yes, that was the last time. Um, because I let go of that fear that mm-hmm. night and said I would be walking, as we say, the straight, narrow, white light. Right. And so I did. I was positive, always believing in myself from that point, uh, just seeing angels and getting messages of what was to become out of my life to help humanity in the future. What kind of messages uh, would the angels give you, and what did the angels look like? The angels would give me messages of helping others. You're going to be a um, lecturer, teacher, mm-hmm. teach people to awaken, to communicate to them by telepathy, by um, intuition, by higher guidance. And so when they taught me that and told me that, um, the angels look, they don't look like the Bible type. No? No. Some of them, it depends on who they appear to, because remember, we all have guides and we all have angels. And they come to us as we feel comfortable. So, to me, if you're asking me how they came to me, which I could only answer for myself, sure. yeah. is that they came to me about 10 feet tall. Uh-huh. Uh, the one I remember was Archangel Michael, blonde hair, blue eyes, shield, a black shield with red in it, with a sword. A beautiful angel. Very protective, mm-hmm. very um, stern, but loving in a sense kind of odd to describe that and think of those things but i didn't talk to him like i'm talking to you it was telepathy based like mind to mind so so the the way that you would communicate is telepathically with the angels and and have you been visited or do you communicate with more than one angel correct i actually do the alchemy which is four of them that i use specifically for now my work today which is Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel. And so they come on the group level because now I'm doing, you know, reaching the masses. So you've got to have more information, more guidance, more mm-hmm. protection, and more knowledge and the higher wisdom. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so you had this encounter. You, you know, it, uh, with, the, with, the, with the entity, you decided or you were told by the angels that you were going to help people into a better life, to understand more, and to be a positive influence on people. So I guess this is where the mentoring comes in. Correct. Okay, now, after you got left uh, school, uh, were in school, were you 
Uh, were you popular with your gift, or you know, I know that no. you said you were a loner. I went to a famous Los Angeles high school, mm-hmm. and I was actually a very loner. And I was in drill team, uh-huh. and I became popular because once you know how girls are, you start sure. drill team, you become in the clique, as they call it. Unfortunately for me, but which is part of my path, I don't want people to feel bad for me or anything. This is my strength. And I'm going to be honest with you, Rob. I was um, raped. So I didn't, this is part of my story. Um, I was, I didn't finish school. Okay. And that led me to be more determined and to, instead of crying and being weak and running and being somebody negative and feeling, woe is me, I once again followed my intuition and got up and worked and did what I had to do to get myself stronger. I didn't stay in high school because I was ridiculed back in those days. And, you know, as a teenager, you don't want to be ridiculed. You're too embarrassed. and You just, you know, leave and do adult school and work. That's what I did at that time from, you know, 15 and a half to 17 and a half. So how did you how did you further develop your gift? I used it every day. I um, actually meditated. Mm-hmm. I didn't deny what I had. Yeah. I talked to my neighbors. I talked to my family, um, certain family because the other ones were really religious, so I couldn't talk to them. And I helped people, and I actually kept a journal, which I made into a course that I have now of all the occurrences and made sure that I wasn't losing my mind, mm-hmm. you know, kind of thing. And things would happen, so I knew I, I validated it by not losing my mind because they would say something would happen, and then it would. And it kept I, on, I, instead of me not listening to my inner voice. I have to ask you a question at this time, and yeah. I hope you don't take it the wrong way. No. If you are so gifted, and if the angels communicate with you, how come you did not know that you would be entering into a dangerous uh, situation, getting yourself raped, and then marrying a man who was abusive to your child? How come you did not pick this up as a psychic? Well, as a psychic. How come your how come your how come your gift how come your gift didn't work for you? How come the angels didn't warn you? Well, they have an answer for that too part of my path, part of my journey. If they warned me, then I wouldn't be who I am today. If I didn't have what has happened in the past, the strength and growth and experience, I couldn't relate to certain people. I couldn't be who I am. What happened, I'm not saying what happened to my son is a glorious thing. Okay, Rob, it's not. It's very sad. He's in a wheelchair. He's a happy little boy, and I'm happily married now and everything. But if I didn't experience what I went through as a teenager... I wouldn't have the compassion, the strength, and the, the pull to go on and help other people. And, of course, they're not going to show me that because I have to. that is part of my path. That is part of who made me who I am today. I don't question why. Uh, when I was younger, I did question why this has to happen to my son. You know, I did question why did that work. All right, stand by. I've got to take a commercial break with the news at the bottom of the hour. My name is Rob McConnell. This is the X Zone. Lines are open at 1 877 528 If you'd like to ask Anna a question, 1 877 528 The X Zone with yours truly, Rob McConnell, Monday through Friday from 10 p.m. Eastern until 2 a.m. Eastern. And then our show is repeated in its entirety for our other glorious network feeds that we do here. We're on three satellites, Exo Nation, Galaxy 4R, Telstar 7, Aglia 2, and now across Europe. And don't forget the X Zone iPod. We'll talk more about that later on as the X Zone continues right here on the Talk Star Radio Network. This is the X Zone Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN TV. For more information on the X Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www. XZBN.net.
Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the Exxon Broadcast Network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere, 24-7-365. Hi everyone, Rob McConnell here, and I wanted to spend a moment on internet streaming. Everybody has heard about internet streaming, but not many know much about it. Did you know the internet streams just about everything? Movies. From new releases to old classics. TV shows. Almost every show, every episode, and much more. But the question has always been, how do you do it? Well now, thanks to the folks at 123 Ready TV, I have the answer for you. They have developed a simple program app, 123 Ready TV, that you install on your Windows PC, Android smartphone, or Android tablet that can have you streaming like a pro in less than five minutes. You truly won't believe how much is available or how easy it is to do until you try. And for a one-time cost of only $19.99, this product is a real winner. To learn more about 123 Ready TV, visit our website at www.x zbn.net 1-877-528-8255 is toll free my name is Rob McConnell and this is the Exxon on the Talkstar Radio Network the special guest is Anna Rubbles and uh, Anna uh, how, what has been your most gratifying moment doing what you do the most gratifying moment there's a lot of them but recently the most gratifying moment is when I went to Rhode Island in January, and I was speaking on my lecture on how my life's been and how I reached many others. And this young lady in the audience um, asked me a question, and that's when I went into my mediumship. Mm-hmm. And I brought in her um, late mother, and her mother was giving her a lecture from the other side. It was really funny in its own sense. And it made her cry, not of, of fear or doubt, just of happiness and joy, because her mother validated what she was doing that day and what, who was there and what the presence was. And that made her feel uh, relief when her mother said that she was doing so. She's very proud of her daughter and that to keep up the strength and the goodwill and the good gestures that she was doing for other people because she was a leader of a foundation. Mm-hmm. And it just validated. I would have never known... You know, that information, never. She never disclosed that. She was just somebody in the audience that I didn't know. And she came up and gave me a hug right in front of everyone at that time, crying and saying that exactly what she was doing and what she was thinking two days prior to the event. And to me, to help people reach out and give them that information, to help them feel rejoiced without saying a word, is connecting and teaching them. Is, is a joy. It's a joy. Tell me, um, how susceptible are children to spirits? Oh, my God. Very. I have four of my own. Mm-hmm. They're very in tune. And my older ones are teenagers, the girls. And they're very. My daughter at four also would say, Mom, who's this person right here? And I'm like, I think you're seeing spirit. I was always very honest with my children. I didn't try to block their gift. And children are very innocent when they're younger. Very, um, how can we say, uh, they're not aware of what's really going on, so they see everything as it is. And so they come and be honest and say, hey, Mom, who's this, who's that? Children are very in tune to the other side until us adults or the parents or anyone else, you know, shuts them down and say, you know, you've got to focus on this, so they shift. But children have a natural ability to connect and see the other side. Now, when children see angels, what are they seeing? When children see angels. Yeah. Do they see the same type of angels that you would see? 
or do they see what some people call as their special little friends? Children, I mean, I remember, it depends, honestly. Because I would see them as, like I say, 10 feet tall, Mm -hmm. like the archangels are. And I remember seeing a little child, like myself, that was an angel, but sometimes they come in comfort to be a child angel, so small as myself at the time. So children depend on how they feel. They come to them in different forms. But I believe, I can only answer for my children and myself, is that my children will see them as small children talking to them. And they would say, you know, I'm your angel, but they were also their age in spirit form. So depending on, you know, the experience of where their path is going, Mm -hmm. they're going to come to them how they feel is, you know, safe and make them feel comfortable. But my children personally saw other children on the other side, not big archangels like I did see them. That's uh, quite amazing. It is. Now, when you communicate with those on the other side, um, do they appear to you as 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 a spirit? Do they appear to you uh, as a whole person? Two or ways. Is, or is it a thought? They appear two ways. Um. Actually, it's happened to me three days ago. I was awakened at 1.35 in the morning, mm-hmm. and there was a spirit next to my bed wanting to talk to me. And there was a missing person in my area that has passed over, and they actually hurt. And it was that person talking to me. And I saw them clear as day as I would see my husband laying next to me. Um, sometimes I would see it as a spirit. Sometimes I would bump into it. As um, I know this sounds odd. I'm pretty sure you heard this many times as a physical person. Hmm. Depends on the situation. But the other night, it was actually a physical person. Like solid. What solid mass. It, what was it like the first time that you encountered someone from the other side? Oh, boy. I thought there was an intruder. <laughs> I had to run to my mother and say, Ooh, is there? did we get robbed? Is there somebody in the house? And the house was small, so it was obvious that my dad had to check it real quick. And there was nobody. I think I was i was very young. I, I can't even remember. I think I was six, five. The angels came first, but a person, person. I was a little bit older. Is you there can any, have a difference from angels and people. <laughs> is, is there anyone else in your family who is gifted? My children. My grandmother that is living, mm-hmm. and my grandmother that passed over when I was 11, my grandmother living does not acknowledge it. She is a um, Catholic, and I respect her views like everyone else's. I'm not religious anymore. I'm spiritual. But she doesn't use it. And my mother has it, but she cannot use it. She and cannot she use it? it? Why won't your mother use it? I'm going to be very honest with you because I'm a very direct person. Mm-hmm. My mother is bipolar. Okay. And she doesn't understand. And she has seizures as well. Oh Got to be in that energy frame, the balance frame, to use it correctly. <laughs> now, the uh, the gentleman that you're married to now, did he know that you were gifted when he met you? Yes. Actually, there's a funny story. My clients told me to get online and date, mm-hmm. which I was against seven years ago. Because you understand online, you know, back then. And I had children to protect. But I didn't have time, and I don't go to bars or clubs. You know, I was 28 at the time. Mm -hmm. And so I went on Match.com, and I went online. And he thought, you know, he looked at me, and he goes, you look like a tarot card reader when he emailed me. I'm like, I don't do cards. And he thought I was joking. I go, I'm a medium. I don't do cards. I don't need, I'm clairvoyant, you know, that kind of thing. And he thought I was joking, but right away he said, and my picture looked professional. I didn't show any weirdness or tarot card reader thing, but he was very in tune with it. He's scientific. He's the opposite of me. He's an engineer. Right. So he questions everything. (laughs) So we're kind of an oddball, but a great mix together. (laughs) 
But he believes, now that he's been married almost six years to me, mm-hmm. he's seen it all. <laughs> Why do you think there's been such an insurgence of spirituality, the paranormal, in the last five, six years? The awakening. Uh, people are looking for answers. Um, I don't want to be, this is just my opinion, let me mm-hmm. air that. Um, the old way's not working. <laughs> And people want more, and they are starting to see that there is another side. And we are being guided, and we want to know more. And it's so intriguing and interesting that people are becoming more awakened to it and are, like, saying, yeah, it's true. And that's why there's shows on TV now about it, and that's why they're open to it now, because they want to know more. They want to have something more positive, something that will make sense, something that will guide them. Isn't it possible, though, with all the information out there, the public or and those seeking the information or seeking the truth will get a uh, information overload and the truth will get lost in the in the shuffle? Yes, sometimes they do. Mm-hmm. Because I have clients that sometimes look for everywhere, everywhere answers, but they always come back to the truth. And the meanwhile, as they do get lost, they mm-hmm. always come back. And sometimes some of them don't, but most of them do. And there's so much information, you know, that on the networks and everything. Yes. It's kind of confusing. But you see, that's part of growth. Being confused? No, not being oh. confused. Going through different outlets in life. We grow as we learn kind of thing. Confusion is just another state. But no, it's part of the growth level. But I feel that people, you know, we're all intuitive. I don't know yes. if you agree with that. I, I do. I do. I do agree, and I believe that as children, many of us are have the uh, have the our intuition suppressed. Like you said, uh, you know, with your dad, for example, that you that you know it was your imagination, your imaginary friends, and I think that children, you know, yes. until we until we ruin it for them. You know, they see what we have forgotten to see. They hear what we have forgotten to hear. And children, God bless them, have unconditional love. Yes. And we forget that too. And I think that this is why holidays like Christmas and Easter are so important to adults these days. Because for that special little time in the year, we remember what it's like to be a child. And we get a little sense of what we have lost or what we have forgotten back. We forgot, you know, we, we forget about the the joy of of giving, the joy of a family, the joy of of anticipation. The next morning, Christmas morning, you know what it was like as a child, Christmas mm-hmm. Eve? You couldn't sleep. You know, you're waiting for Santa Claus and I'm a few years older now, and I get excited Christmas Eve, you know, and I still wait for Santa Claus. I do, too. You know, and, and, and I think that each and every one of us would love to be able to to believe and and to look at the world through the eyes, eyes of a child, knowing what we know now. Right. And, and I think that this is part of the spiritual awakening, is that we're going back to a time in our lives when we had everything that we needed to understand spirituality but as we grow older we were tainted by society we're suppressed by society so society you know like society doesn't want or didn't want people to think on their own you know the, you know, look at the olden days you know you're you're a member of the flock why? Because you're a sheep. You're supposed to follow. And people are saying, well, wait a minute now. Hold on. I'm not a sheep anymore. I want answers. And I agree with you 100% that this is what people are asking for. And, you know, this is where people like yourself, with your gift and your ability, can open up the eyes and the heart. And I commend you for the job you're doing. Well, thank you. And I also want to tell you, um, Rob, I do... Own, um, co-owner of Dimensions of Light, which is a world peace um, foundation that we created to help humanity um, to give back to the people. And we are doing my my film, my documentary, mm-hmm. with um, 
my good friend Mike Robles, which won an Emmy for his film work. Mm-hmm. He's producing my film, and I just came back from filming it, which I have to go back in June to do the middle part and then to end it where I live now. So it'll be done by August. And uh, most of the proceeds would probably were going to go to breast cancer and disabled children. Wow, and that's it's wonderful. just to open awareness. You know, I, I want to help humanity. It's not just me being a psychic reader, no. I love lecturing, I love teaching, showing people how to get connected. That's what a lecturer does. The lec- a lecturer, in my eyes, is someone who stands in front of people and helps them take the key to unlocking themselves. Stand by, Anna. You and I have to take another commercial break. Anna Robles is our special guest. Her website is manifestingtruth.com. That's www.manifestingtruth.com. Still to come on tonight's show, Ellen from Premier Psychics is going to be with us in the next hour. She's going to be talking to us about metaphysics, dream interpretation, what it's like to be an empath, and maybe one or two psychic readings. Who knows? And then in the final hour of tonight's show, my good friend Cal Corfith is with us talking about everything from Billy Meyer, UFOs, terrorism, to Sasquatch. 1-877-528-8255 is toll free. My name is Rob McConnell, and this is the Exxon, a place where people dare to believe and dare to be heard. I'll be back on the other side of this commercial break as we continue right here on the Talkstar Radio Network. Don't go away. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Welcome back, everyone. My special guest is Anna Robles. And uh, first of all, Anna, thanks very much for joining us tonight here on the X-Zone. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Um, what is the name of your or a nonprofit organization again? It is uh, dimensionsoflight.com. All right, listen, if there's anything I can do to help you out, you just let me know. Oh, thank you. It would be an honor. <laughs> okay, because... I'm just getting the word out. That's that's all I could do, you know, how spirit leads you kind of thing. <laughs> just let us know how we can help you uh, help people, and we'll be there with you. Oh, that that is a blessing. If they could just go to dimensionsoflight.com and look it out and sign up, then it would be an honor to have them there. We'll see what we can do to help you get as many people as we can. Well, thank you. Um... Spiritual healing. We've mm-hmm. got about three minutes left. Uh, how do you how do you heal someone spiritually? I do it a different way. Mm-hmm. Bringing awareness, going within themselves. I love doing it when I talk to. I had this young woman that I was uh, giving a session to today, and she was just very um, upset and hurt. And I, I hit to the core of her spirit and made her realize that she had the answers with the higher source, mm-hmm. the higher guidance, as we said. And she realized, and she smiled and said, you know what, that's what I need to practice, and believing in herself and asking for it. And when she did that, she felt like all the chains were lifted, and knowing that she didn't have to look outside for answers, that the answers were within her, and just giving her the guidance, because I'm just the tool, you know, giving her the guidance. Yes. And she learned it. And now she called me hours later saying, you know what, I feel better. I get it. I'm journaling. I'm doing this and that, and I'm gonna t- I'm gonna do what is asked. And she felt so much better, and many others that have done it. And that's why I created the manifestation course with mm-hmm. the angels. And this just helps awaken and get into that point, and that starts healing people with inside because you got to go within and then without outside also to become one whole spirit, mind, body, soul connected to the universe as I say it. Where do you give your courses, dear? At manifestingtruth.com. They could purchase it there. And then I I guide them through it, mm-hmm. um, either through email or through phone or in person when I lecture. But if someone can't afford it, uh, we work with them. We help everyone. We don't turn down anyone. You and I have to say so long for now, but uh, yes. once again, thank you very much for joining us. and. Uh, it is my Keep, pleasure and honor. 
We'll speak to you again, I promise. And don't forget, if there's anything we can do to help you with your cause of of the, uh, you know, helping people with breast cancer or whatever, give us a call. We'll be here. I will. And you have a blessed night, and thank you for having me on the show. My pleasure. Take care of yourself. Anna Nobles, Robles, psychic teacher, medium, spiritual healer, and life coach, www.manifestingtruth.com. That's www.manifestingtruth.com. When we come back from the news at the top of the hour at six and a half minutes past, Ellen will be with us. We're going to be talking about metaphysics, dream interpretation, and you know Ellen. She loves doing psychic readings, so yes, we'll get a few of those in as well. one 877 is our toll-free number throughout the U.S., Canada, Alaska, and Hawaii. My name is Rob McConnell, and you're listening to the X-Zone Radio Show. Where? Right here on the Talkstar Radio Network. We come to you Monday through Friday from 10 p.m. Eastern until 2 a.m. Eastern, and then the show is repeated in its entirety from 2 a.m. until 6 a.m. I'll be back with our good friend from Gotham City, the one and only coolest guy who drives the blackest car, the one and only Batman, and Ellen when we return here to the X-Zone on the Talkstar Radio Network. Don't go away. We'll be right back after the news at six and a half minutes past.